Hi, welcome to Drinks Tube. My name is Gabe Cook and I am the Ciderologist. I've traveled the world making cider, so you could say I know my apples. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a fantastic beer and cider cocktail, the snake bite. Whoa, 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 come back, come back, come back. I know that you know the snake bite has certain connotations of being a, a student drink or, or with cheap drinks, but I'm gonna be showing you how to make the ultimate snake bite. With a bit of care and attention, this really can be a fantastic drink packed full of flavor and really, really refreshing. Now, normally this drink is made with equal parts lager and uh, mainstream style cider. Cider is known as hard cider in the US, by the way. But today I'm gonna to be utilizing a great beer and a truly fantastic cider. Now, as this is the ultimate snake bite, I'm also gonna be adding a black currant cordial, but not any old cordial, we'll be making something homemade right here on the top with fantastic fresh ingredients. Here we have these wonderful fresh black currants. They've already been washed to get rid of all of them, those impurities and we're gonna get in the pot and start cooking away. So we're gonna be making enough syrup for 25 servings. So into our pan, first of all, goes 250 grams of our washed black currants. Secondly, 125 mils of water, in she goes. And thirdly, 125 mils of honey. Now the honey is really important and it's a substitute for sugar, but it has its own unique and distinctive flavor and will add a lovely, rich and runny consistency. Get a spoon, stir it all together in the pot. This is on a medium heat. Put the lid back on, five minutes, and that's enough time to let those black currants start to break up a little bit. After five minutes, these black currants have really started to simmer down now a little bit. Now we can give them a bit of a bash just to help break them down a little bit more, but they're nearly good to go. If you want to add a little bit of extra tang, then you could always use half a lemon. Juice can go in, just add a little bit of extra bite to that rich, lovely black currantness. So turn your heat down low and simmer for a further 10 minutes to reduce the cordial and to combine everything together. After 10 minutes of simmering, we turn the heat off, allow the mixture to cool, and we should end up with a consistency somewhat like this. Fantastic. What we're gonna do now is to place it through a fine mesh to, to get rid of all those bits. Push it through a little bit, and there's our fantastic, beautiful blackcurrant cordial. And we're just left with a little bit of the pulpy stuff. We'll put that to one side. That'll be fantastic as a topping for an ice cream or in a smoothie, but this is what we're after, the wonderful cordial. This is now gonna go into a sterilized jar so that it can be kept for quite a few weeks. Now, We've got all our bits together. It's time to do some pouring. We can move that to one side and get our glass. First of all, we're gonna put in half a glass's worth of a classic English style cider. Now we've chosen this cider because of its rich, complex flavors, kind of off dry, subtle, smooth. It'll be a perfect complement to that beer. And if you like cider and you want to know more, all you've got to do is click here and check out my ultimate guide to cider. Now we'll move on to the beer. Normally you'd use a lager, but we're going to step things up a little bit and use a session style IPA. We'll pour in roughly the same amount, which is good to go. This beer will provide some lovely hoppiness and a little bit of bitterness to complement that cider absolutely perfectly. So now we can add about 10 mil or so of our fantastic homemade cordial. So we're gonna give this a wee bit of a stir. Now, you wouldn't normally stir the, uh, the cordial in, but this is the fantastic homemade stuff. I'm really sure it's got a real good mix and it's fully in there. You can definitely tell it's homemade by the color and its consistency. It looks absolutely amazing, it just looks fantastic. But most importantly, we're gonna to need to give it a taste. So here goes. Wow, it's absolutely amazing. It's packed full of flavors. The cider is giving a real rich, strong, bittersweet flavor, spiciness and appleiness. And then the hops from that wonderful Session IPA cut through the top, real zingy and light and fresh. And then coating everything is our amazing homemade syrup of the black currants. Adds a real sweetness, freshness, and just binds everything together. This is absolutely fantastic. A truly ultimate snake bite. So I will say cheers. Oh, and don't forget, if you want to learn more, subscribe to Drinks Tube and see all the other fantastic videos. But for now, cheers.